other dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Uh, I have just a short description for you of a process that's ongoing right now as the awakening occurs. And because some people are mystified and they're not real sure what's going on, but um, but uh, the explanation is, is relatively simple. It's a synthetic explanation, and it goes like this. Um, uh, as, as many of you know from reading of the Bible or your own sacred text, there are many different sorts of intelligent beings on earth. In the realms invisible, as described in the Bible, we have the angels, we have God, we have Christ, and we have beings of, of malignant tendencies such as devils and demons and Satan himself, all right? In the same way that in the invisible world there are many sorts of beings other than human beings, here in the physical plane we have many beings who look like human beings but who are not. In addition, there are beings in the, the borderline between the plane of forces between the two realms, the invisible and the physical, such as the Bigfoot, who are sometimes visible to us and sometimes visible in the astral and mental realms. All right, so just getting back to the beings that appear to be human beings. Uh, amongst those of us who are human, there are some whose souls have been wounded by the Satan world in such a way that their motives and their behavior are what is sometimes termed reptilian. You may have seen uh, references on the internet to reptilians and descriptions of their eyes as being different and so forth. Um, this is not entirely true in my opinion. My, my looking at this has to do with soul healing. I'm a healer, and so I look at everything in that, in that context. It is true, however, that there are beings that appear to be human on earth whose motives are what you might call reptilian, more in line with the Satan world. Um, so the two classes of, of motivation here on earth that comprise this duality have to do with service to self, and service to others. Those whose behavior has more to do with injury to others and service to self align more with the Satan world. And these are the types of human beings that some people call reptilian. So, there's a class of reptilian beings that I'll be discussing in an upcoming blog called the controllers. The controllers. And, and these beings in my blog will be explained as a, in terms of antisocial personality, a psychological term, a psychological category, and um, uh, the elementary, the, law, the, the dark soul, which is um, an occult uh, science category with an intention of revealing the manner in which humankind has been mind-controlled by them until the recent awakening. All right. So, so we have risen up to an understanding of how some, some previously human beings have been damaged to such an extent in their souls by the demon world that we consider them to be reptilian. So now, an explanation of how, where we stand in the process of awakening right now. Um, as you may know, these, these awakening processes happen every 11,000 years. There are 10,000 years of, of darkness because of our inability to receive um, photonic light from Aldebaran. And, uh, and then there are 2,000 years of, of light, which we've just entered that kind of phase. And then there are another 10,000 years of darkness and like that. So 
dividing that up, we have 10 plus 10 is 22. And dividing that in half is 11,000 year cycles. And right now, we're entering um, the age of, of the, the age of light. All right. And as we do so, we're all awakening to 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 the greater reality of our souls and and the angel realm and and God Himself. All right. And the things that are going away are the are the Satan realm and so forth. Where we stand right now in this process, after only a few years, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, four years, right? after only four years, is that almost all of the entities known as demons and devils and most of the forms of Satan have been dissolved and transformed to light or moved elsewhere off, off Earth, someplace far where duality can still exist. Remaining at this moment in time are all the shadows of the dark that have been uh, formed in our own souls um, by our own poor choices during the time of darkness, by our turnings away from the light, and and greatly magnified by these the work of these beings such as demons and devils and Satan. Um, so so our souls need clean up right now, and that clean up process is being undertaken by our with our own soul's permission by those of the angelic realm who surround us. All right. So now back to this this class called the controllers, the antisocial personalities, the lost or dark or black souls, right? Um this is a special category of those who have undertaken the most um the most profound experience of the realm of duality. Um, and so I hold out some hope that as we discover what is going on and how deeply injured they are and cease to honor them because of their ability to mind control us uh, and pull away from them, that there's it may be possible for them, their DNA to be healed, their etheric nets to be spiffed up, and for them to continue as souls on earth. But I don't know whether this is true or not. There are those who pass the point of no return in, as far as soul devolution is concerned. Some say there are only two to 400 of those on earth. Uh, that was my hope initially. But others say, and this has been in print in a theosophical uh, magazine called Quest, that it may be uh, up to 1% or 2% of the world population. And that's a lot, a very great deal for all of us to deal with. Um, I will say that I have complete faith in my fellow mankind and complete faith in God and the angel realm that a solution, the best solution to all this will be found. Absolute faith. And so I wish you all the best in determining what to do as soul wisdom is reunited with the great soul within you. God bless you all and keep you on this wonderful new day.